So my demonstration for tonight is for three products, um, a rotary cutter, the True Cut rotary cutter, they have some really awesome rulers, and uh, True Grips, which I think I've demonstrated on the show a few years ago, but Danny, went, Danny and I went to a trade show in June, and most of the, it was the H&H &H America's show, and most of the vendors, or at least a lot of them, were fiber-related yarn, knitting, crochet, but there were some sewing related booths and this one is something we found out in a booth even though I'm sort of familiar with this company but I hadn't seen the, the rulers before so um, I'll have Danny switch to the overhead camera so that I can show you what these are all about. So what to start with first? I guess I'll start with, uh, gosh, I guess I'll start with the ruler, rotary cutter first. So the really cool thing about this True Grips rotary cutter and the ruler is that see how I can show this to you on camera. Um, okay. I gotcha. Hold on. <clears throat> so the ruler has a ledge over here. Sorry, I got a paper cut the other day. Here's my regular ruler that I normally use. As you can see, it's just completely flat. And this one's got a ledge. So the cool thing about the ledge is that this rotary cutter is meant to go with this ruler and hook onto the ledge. I don't know You've probably had this happen to you before where you're using your, your regular rotary cutter, cutting strips or cutting a rectangle or cutting a straight line and your rotary cutter kind of goes whoops off the ruler and you get sort of a jagged edge or a curve, something like that. So this rotary cutter is meant to prevent that because it hooks onto the ledge on either side. So there's no ledge on the top and the bottom. There's just the ledge on either side and... It's like a train on a track. Yes, it's a train on a track, yep. And the nice thing about this <clears throat> rotary cutter, it's slightly ergonomic. It, I feel like it's not as ergonomic as the Martelli rotary cutter that I shared with you earlier this year, but it is certainly ergonomic for the fact that you don't have to kind of twist your arm like some other rotary cutters to cut. So you keep your arm flat and you can rest your finger on this little rest over here. It comes in the package um, set up like this, but it also will accommodate left left-handed uh, users as well. So um, I guess I'll show you quickly how to swap it over to the left hand. So as it is, it's in the right hand uh, usage spot. Let me flip my blade out really quick. So the blade comes out by just pushing this down and it just pops out. So all you have to do to make this into a left-handed cutter is this piece right here just kind of slides out. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. And then this piece on the other side, there's a little knob at the top over here. You just push that down and it pops out. So to make it into a left-handed, all you need to do is slide it in. There's a little hole over here. You kind of just slide it straight in, pops back into place. And then this piece over here, you just flip it over. So in the right-handed cutter, it was sitting like this. So you just flip it over. It looks the same on the other side, except then it fits onto the side for the left-handed. So it just kind of shifts in there on a, on a diagonal. And then I'll show you how to set it up for the right-handed, but that's how you swap it over to the left-hand. It's, as you can see, it's super easy. And once you get it set up for either right or left-handed, you shouldn't have to really ever do this again. But if you do need to take this out to kind of clean out some lint from cutting fabric, you can. So. To get the blade to go in, all you need to do is push this down. <clears throat> and there's two different setups. So I wanted to show you first. Let me show you first the setup for, <clears throat> excuse me. If you're using a regular ruler, such as this one right here without the, the ledge over here, there's extra pieces that come with this so you can use it without the, the guard that's sort of like the train on the tracks. So this piece has a screw that looks like this. This is the piece that will be outward facing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set that face down. And there's another piece that looks like a pinwheel. This one is um, the smaller of the two. And with this piece, you want, um, there's sort of, a, this edge is sort of more rounded and this edge right here is flat. This is the piece that's going to go face up. So the flat piece of the little black plastic is going to go against the blade. So it looks like this from the other side. I'm going to go ahead and carefully take the blade off and place it on here. 
And then however you'd like to do it, if you'd like to put your blade upside down or if you'd like to just carefully place it on your cutter, either one works and it just snaps into place. So <clears throat> this little button over here pulls back and it reveals the blade. So this is what you would use if you're using um, a normal ruler without the, the guide on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this out. I'm gonna go ahead and protect the blade again. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna push this toward me so I can pop the blade out. And now I'm going to show you this other little portion over here. So this portion is what you'll use. It's basically the bigger plastic piece of the two. This is what you'll use if you're using the true cut ruler with um, the guide on the side. So this has two pieces. This screw piece has a big black circle on it. So I'm gonna place that face down. This second piece, there's a, a sort of an edge that's more flat and then there's an edge that has like a smaller circle on the side. The big flat edge is gonna go face down closer to the screw piece. And then I'm gonna pop that blade off and put it right on top. Okay, still making sure that this portion is pushed forward. Now I'll try it just pushing down on the table without touching the blade. So it just clicks into place. <clears throat> and Danny, I'm gonna have you zoom out a little bit. Let me grab a piece of fabric. <clears throat> so the first couple times that I started using this, I would kind of set it on a diagonal. But now that I've been using it for a while, excuse me, <clears throat> not used to talking this long haven't done a show in a couple months now that I've been using this for a while I kind of just put it almost straight down so what it does is it hooks into this edge of the ruler and no matter how hard oh let me reveal the blade first no matter how hard you try you can't get it to come off the grid make kind of a little curvy cut <clears throat> it makes a nice straight cut and um, I think I've shown you the rotary cutter. Let's move on to the features of the ruler. First off, this is the first ruler that I have in my stash that has these little cutouts, which is actually super convenient because if you're measuring something, say if you need to measure, I don't know, five inches up, five and a half, uh, maybe two and a half inches over, you can just with the cutout actually mark on your fabric or whatever you're marking because um, the acrylic is missing from over here. So that's super handy. <clears throat> As with my other rulers, there's markings on this ruler for every um, quarter inch, not only quarter inch, every eighth inch. So even though the quarter inch, half inch, three quarters are marked, there's little markings over here for all of the other measurements as well. So super handy. This particular ruler is six inches by 12 inches, which is a, a ruler size that I use an awful lot. And the other product that is sort of part of the system is these true grips. These are um, adhesive rings that prevent your ruler from slipping. So I attached a few of these uh, true grip um, pieces before the show. <clears throat> Cause I wanted to show you, this is my cutting mat just flipped over. Here's the ruler without the <clears throat> true grips on it. As you can see, it's slipping and sliding with little effort over here. And then I've got my true grips on here. I, I really can't get it to move because the grips hold it in place. So you can use these true grips on any ruler. It doesn't have to be just the true cut ruler. They'll apply just fine onto other rulers as well. Even if you have acrylic templates, um, So Sweetness acrylic templates for the different pattern pieces, you can use these on that as well. <clears throat> oh, hang on, Danny. I wasn't done. Sorry. <laughs> um, I will get to your question in just one second, Linda. So I just wanted to show you what comes in the package. So it actually has two different sizes of grips. I'm not sure if these will come off up on camera because they're sort of clear. Let's see if they do. Yeah, I think they sort of do. So here's the first size. This is a big ring. <clears throat> and the second size is a really tiny little dot. So whatever you prefer, I use the big rings on mine. <clears throat> and this is what comes in the package, just a, a single sheet over here. And let me flip the ruler over so that you can see. Ah, gosh, it's really hard to see because the ruler is clear, but there's, yeah, there we go. There's one right over here. And again, this is just the ring. I don't have the dot over here. Actually, 
This one does have the dot. I guess I put both. Slide it up in. There we go. It's right there. And I just kind of sprinkled them. Danny, you can zoom back out. I just kind of sprinkled them. You don't have to put them all over the place. I got two here, two here, one here, and then I've got two up here. So whatever you feel, you can start off with a smaller amount and just um, add some as you go. I, I pulled one off over here and I just kind of stuck it in the middle over there. So I think these three products either together or if you just need, the True Grips are pretty inexpensive. If you just need those for the rulers that you already have, um, comes with 15 small and 15 large in the package. And Linda had a question where you can buy these. So we saw all three of these pro products on our website. I've linked to those in the description. And I think I really like using this rotary cutter. I do also like using the Martelli one that I demonstrated earlier this year, but I like this because I have a problem with my rotary cutter jumping off the ruler, like what I was mentioning earlier. And with this rotary cutter, there's really no way it's foolproof. There's really no way this can come off the ruler. So I thought this was really amazing and I used it when I was cutting my um, little squares for this quilt over here and for some bag projects that I was working on. So it worked fantastic. And I also like the fact that you can switch it from right to left without having to buy a separate rotary cutter. And I like that it has this extra attachment so you can use it for, you can swap it out. Cause sometimes I like to use um, other rulers as well, or if you have other acrylic templates, I like the fact that it has the adapter so you can use it for um, rulers or other acrylic templates without that little guide on the side. So um, yeah, I'm really, I was really excited to demonstrate this and <laughs> I haven't done a demonstration in a while. So I was just keeping my fingers crossed that uh, the blade wouldn't pop out or anything like that. Oh, I did want to mention also, if you swap out your adapters, and you go to use your cutter and your blade jumps out, it just means that your black plastic piece was put on in the wrong direction. So in the video, I talked about which side the flat edge should be pointing toward. Um, if that happens with this particular rotary cutter, if you put everything back together and the blade pops out, it just means um, your black piece was on backwards. So all you gotta do is take it off and put it on the right way. So um, yeah, easy foolproof foolproof and um, link is in the description for all three of these um, products. So